second. And um, well, actually, before you put the peppers on, you're gonna throw on all of your herbs and spices. So the ones that I use, I use uh, black pepper, uh, a very little bit of seasoning salt, um, uh, sage, parsley, uh, thyme, rosemary.
because you want the black beans to have, you know, you want them to be, to not fall apart, but, <clears throat> like, be on the verge of falling apart. Um, so, so your rice cooks for, you know, 30, 40 minutes on its own, and then in the saucepan, you take your black beans and just empty the entire can into uh, the saucepan, and then pour, um, put a little bit of water on top, just so all the liquid is covering the, uh, the beans. Uh, turn the stove on high, and, um, and just wait for those to boil. It takes like 15 minutes or so. Um, so your vegetables, your mountain of vegetables and spices are sitting in this great big frying pan. And then over here are your black beans in the saucepan waiting to boil. And then over here is your whatever else, big saucepan uh, with the rice, or use a rice cooker, whatever you use. <clears throat> Everybody's got their own way of cooking things, and, um, you know, do what you like. So, and then when they're all done cooking, you just mix it all together, and see, for me, since I do three cups, three cans of beans, three cups of rice, and all those vegetables. I use uh, two yellow squashes. Is that the plural for squash? Squashes. It doesn't sound right. Did you say squash? Two squash. That sounds right. Squashes. Sounds like a fake word. Squashes. Alright, so take your two squash two zucchini zucchini
And if you, you know, I said soy sauce, it goes good on it, but usually I don't add it. I just do if I'm feeling fat. Um, uh, so it's soy free, dairy free, gluten free, and it's completely vegan. There's no meat of any kind, no nothing, no animal products. So, uh, and the other thing, it's got a lot of beans, and um, beans are uh, they're a good source of lysine, and something to keep in mind for people that are considering going vegan, or people who are new to being vegan. Uh, one of the main amino acids that vegans lack is lysine, L-Y-S-I-N-E, lysine, not leucine, don't confuse those two, leucine, lysine, totally different, lysine, uh, vegans lack that amino acid, and have you ever seen any vegans who look like they're just unhealthy, that's because they're not getting enough lysine, and they're not getting enough vitamin B. And lysine and vitamin B are essential for cell growth and reproduction and cell life. So if you're lacking those two essential nutrients, uh, you're building blocks and your, uh, uh, your sources for cell growth are going to be lacking. So naturally, it's almost like your body's just kind of breaking down and you don't look good. Like, I got like some acne going on, which is totally unrelated to what I was just saying, but I just felt like throwing in something random because I can. Um, but yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. So, uh, totally another side note. It's just full of side notes today. Sticky notes everywhere. Sticky. But, um, yeah, if you're considering a diet change or if you want to go dairy-free, uh, you will not regret it. Dairy-free is a very, very good way to go. Um, anybody, like, I have respiratory issues. Uh, obviously, if you listen to any of my videos, you can hear me breathing all the time. I just sound like I'm, you know, like my lungs are just full of blah, gunk. But, um, now, if you're considering taking that to the next level and going vegan, it's not a bad way to go. It's 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 a, it's a good way to go if it's done right, if you do it the right way. Uh, if you're going to be vegan, it can actually work really, really well for you. But you have to be physically active. You have to take in a lot of dense nutrient uh, or nutrient dense foods. So. Uh, you need a lot of leafy greens and like I'm talking about kale and spinach and uh, uh, I mean those two for sure uh, like spring spring garden mix um, or spring mix or whatever uh, uh, like iceberg lettuce it's not bad but it's just it's not you don't have as much iron or uh, B vitamins as you do in spinach and kale. Spinach and kale are going to be the way to go. Uh, broccoli as well, which uh, I eat plenty of that. So you get calcium, you get iron, you get B vitamins. And then uh, beans and nuts, uh, lentils, are going to be your best sources for uh, your essential amino acids. Uh, that you normally would get from meats and animal products. So, you know, that's where you gotta be careful. So if you're only eating vegetables and fruits and um, like fruits and, and nuts, well, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of essential amino acids and that's gonna cause your body, your, you're, not, you're gonna be losing a lot of nutrients. You can get sick that way. Um, so, you know, just remember what I said and do your research. Uh, but now with that all said, uh, if you do become vegan and you do it right and you're physically active, you exercise, you know, anywhere from five to seven days a week, even for 30 minutes, 
20, 30 minutes, uh, being vegan is going to work really, really well for you. Uh, uh, your muscles are able to take in more, basically you can build more muscle strength uh, because your body, your muscles are not, are not having to retain as much, you know, uh, 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 or, like your blood is not being used to fight off inflammation. And so your muscles are actually able to use more of that blood so you can actually build more strength. So um, just think of it in terms of inflammation. If you're not as, if you're not inflamed because of your diet, well, that's going to allow more blood to be supplied to your muscles when you work out. So you just have to think in the grand scheme of things. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, I started uh, not doing, I, I'm not doing weights at all. Um, obviously I'm not, you know, built like I do weights, but, uh, I just focus on exercises that, uh, are body weight exercises. So just old school stuff, uh, you know, push-ups, crunches, side bridges, uh, dips. Um, I haven't started doing pull-ups yet. I can't even do a pull-up. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not that, I don't, I don't have strength in those areas. Trying to uh, just trying to strengthen a lot of areas that are weak, so that they can take pressure off of areas that are having to compensate, like my low back. So, and it's um, it's only been a week, so I can't really say how it's going. So far, so good. But um, so uh, oh yeah, and I'm supposed to say. Considering a vegan diet, consult your physician. You know, um, not that they care. I'm not licensed yet. Not yet. I'll be licensed in a year and a half. I'll be licensed to tell you what's up with your health. So y'all better be listening. Um, all right, now I'm gonna eat. I made it. Oh. other stuff. You can taste those B vitamins. <clears throat> you know, on a serious note, the good thing about eating food like this is it actually makes me uh, enjoy these vegetables uh, in their raw form. So like I just start cooking them like this and I cooked them less and less and now I can actually enjoy them without anything except the broccoli. Broccoli either needs uh, uh, spinach, artichoke hummus or it needs melted butter. Oh, I love me some broccoli. But uh, the other stuff, yeah, like peppers. I never ate peppers up until like a year ago or two years ago.
little squash. <clears throat> and you know when you make this too, it's got a really nice presentation. Because you got like, you got every color in the rainbow except blue. So, and white. No, it's not on the rainbow, so we pants. But yeah, you got every color except blue and purple. Well, now the beans are pretty purple. So yes, you got everything except blue. If you want blue in your meal, you gotta wait till breakfast. are two hours long. Yeah, two hours long. <sighs> Visceral case integration and soft tissue radiology beam. Fun. My brain is fried. And all I can think of 
office. Uh, to come.
was going to say something. Something endearing. I got nothing. Uh, you guys are awesome. Hang in there. What are you hanging in there for? That doesn't even mean anything. Hang in there. Keep your, keep your chin up. Hang in there. Oh, you'll be alright.